Hello, doers, and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. So today, we're going to decide when we pay our vendors. It's either now or never. Nah, I'm actually just kidding. When defining the bill control policy, we can either pay vendors before receiving products or after. So at Stealthy Wood, we send our payment after products are delivered, but everyone does things differently. But if you do things like us, I can actually show you how to do a three-way matching between the purchase order, the vendor bill, and finally the receipts, ensuring that we only pay for received products at the agreed upon price. So I think enough chit chat is in order and let's jump in to see how it works. Okay, so to start, let's take a look at the bill control policy by selecting configuration and settings. And reminder, we're inside of the purchase app right now. So let's move down, actually right here, perfect. Inside of this invoicing section for the bill control feature right there, we're gonna configure whether a vendor bill is created before or after receiving the ordered items. So selecting ordered quantities, I wanna get rid of that real quick. Ordered quantities right there means we can create a bill as soon as the purchase order is confirmed. For today, we'll have received quantities over here selected. This means that when we order products, Odoo will only let us create a bill after we have received at least part of the total order. So next, I think it's time for us to make sure the three-way matching feature is enabled. And it happens to be, which is great, because if you haven't done that or the other things for this tutorial, Make sure to take care of that now and select save in the top left before moving on. So now that we're done with the company settings, I'd like to take a note that if one or more products needs a different bill control policy, we can actually specify the control policy on the product form itself and override the company's bill control policy as well. So let me show you. So we're gonna actually go to products and then select products again. And we're gonna select a good old Granny Smith apple pie right there. So inside of our purchase tab selected over here, down here where it says vendor bills and control policy, I want you to focus there. Let's do something different than earlier. We're gonna select unordered quantities, then manually save up at the top. So in a bit, we'll see how this workflow differs from the rest of the companies. So to check that out, we're gonna go over to orders and select purchase orders. And here we'll see all of the purchase orders that we've created. At the very top, we have a purchase order for Gemini Furniture. It has a very interesting status of nothing to bill. Hmm, it's a little strange, so let's click into this. And we see there's a purple button up at the top that says receive products. Now we're gonna try to create a bill, because remember, we're creating bills, and, oh doopsies, oh doers, we can't create a bill yet, since we haven't received the products. And as you recall, the company's bill control policy is set to receive quantities. It looks like the policy is working so far though, so let's click close. Okay, so to do this properly, we're gonna first receive our products in the top left and then validate this. And once that we're done doing all of that, we're gonna select our breadcrumbs to go back to our purchase order. And now you'll notice we have a create bill button in the top left. But to be fully sure that it's time to bill the vendor, I'm gonna to go to my other information tab over here. And would you look at that? In our billing status field, we have it set, and it says right now, waiting bills. Let's not keep Odoo waiting though, so let's click Create Bill. Okay, there we go. So in the bill, I'm gonna see where Odoo's three-way matching feature makes sure that we only pay for things we received. We go to our other info tab over here as well. And in the Should Be Paid field, well, would you look at that right there? Odoo tells us that since we received the products, we can't run away anymore. We have to pay the vendor. So let's set the bill dates, in our case, to today. Perfect. And then once that we're done with that, we'll select confirm. And would you look at that, we're done. So what I just showed you was the bill control policy for receive quantities. Let's see what the ordered quantity flow looks like. So in our case, we're gonna go and select orders, purchase orders over here once again. And this time let's click the PO for the vendor healthy food. Okay, so this is where we're ordering several apple pies as you guessed it. Now different from earlier, both the receive products and the create bill buttons are both purple right there. So let's click on create bill. So this time around, same as earlier, I'm going to set the bill date as today, once that we go into there, and then confirm it right there, perfect. So then we're actually gonna select our purchase this smart button up at the top and back on the PO, inside of the build area, as you could just see right there, it gives us our little field right there. We can compare that build quantities to the receive quantities that we have right there, which happens to be zero. And that's to ensure that we pay for what we receive. 
Then we're going to click on receive products right there and then validate that. And there you have it. We just saw how Odoo handles bill price matching and how we can make sure we're always on good payment terms with our vendors. So to learn more, I encourage you to check out our other awesome tutorials on Odoo's purchase app. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Go grab a snack. I don't have any on my desk, so drink water.